What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new iOS 15 location button. So basically this component you see at the bottom here, it is a brand new framework called Core Location UI that has this pretty nifty button baked into it with a lot of customization available. So we'll take a look at bringing this into our own apps as well as hooking it up to actually do something useful. So if that sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're into iOS and want to stick around for future videos. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. Bear in mind, this is Xcode 13 beta. We're going to go ahead and stick with the app template under iOS. And let's go ahead and give this project a name of my location. Super creative, I know. We're going to stick with uh, Swift as the language and interface will be storyboard since we'll be working with UI kits. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop here. We'll start by closing this right panel, expanding our window, and jumping into our view controller file here. So before we actually get into the code, let me go ahead and change our simulator to a 12 Pro Max. Gonna go ahead and hit that run button to build and run it in the simulator. And we'll get into the new uh, core location UI. So basically the app we're going to build is what you saw. We, we're going to have a map up here that's going to show our current location and uh, we are going to have a button down here which is going to be the new thing that Apple introduced uh, for iOS 15. And it's actually packaged up into a new framework super creatively called Core Location UI since it's UI related to Core Location. So go ahead and import that. and. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is right here in uh, view to load. We can do it here or we can do it in a separate function. I'm going to go ahead and say create button and we're going to look at the new stuff that is available first and foremost. So Apple added this uh, thing called a CL location button. So let's go ahead and create it. It is a core location location button, which is slightly redundant naming now that I say it out loud. We're going to go ahead and uh, give this guy a frame and this is going to be of course a CG rect. I'm going to go ahead and say 0, 0, maybe we'll go ahead and say 200 wide and 50 tall. And we'll go ahead and just simply add it to our view hierarchy by saying add sub view. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, center this button. And let's just go ahead and give it a run before we start talking about customization and all that good stuff. So if we go ahead and give it a run, this is what you get. So you get a button, it says current location, right? No icon on it. And essentially it's a button to allow the user to get a one time, rather grant your app one time location permission. So this could be used for something like, you know, sending the current location or sharing it or, you know, one time location access. So cool. So. That being said and out of the way, how do we customize it? So there is a bunch of labels that are available here. Um, let me actually click into this and let's see if Xcode decides to cooperate. And we'll get to go and see a exhaustive list of what is available. Let me just see if I can do this. Here we go. So you can set the label to current location, send to current location, share, share my location, etc, etc. So basically, Apple just took a UI button and made a single location button, uh, just kind of as a single built-in component, which is kind of nice. So let's go ahead and change the title on here, the label I should say. Go ahead and give that a run, and we basically see our new uh, label show up. Now, you'll see in the console here that it's yelling at me that we have uh, some invalid, let me go ahead and expand this. Uh, it's going to yell at me down here, uh, failed because of inappropriate sizes, which is kind of a funny error if you think about the wording. Um, basically what this is yelling at me uh, for is the fact that our width of the button is a little too close for comfort in terms of the padding. So you do want to make sure you size appropriately or use intrinsic sizing. So I'm not going to override the label as we build along, but the next thing I want to talk about or the next two things are uh, the icon and this one uh, that most people will probably use uses an arrow with an outline and then I think there's also a corner radius on here that you can go ahead and specify and this is pretty bare bones you know it just rounds the edges the corners so nothing too crazy there but this is a pretty nice looking button so if you don't supply a label by default it actually just uh, shows just the icon which is a little weird but uh, let's go ahead and bring this back so we're gonna say current location 
and we'll go ahead and give that a run once more and let's talk about hooking it up to some actual functionality. So when we tap on this, you'll notice what we get actually immediately with, without any further configuration is the ability to request uh, a user's location uh, for a single use case. So my location can only access your location when you choose to share it. And you can go ahead and say okay. And basically this has allowed our app to get that location. And one thing which is pretty cool is we didn't even have to update our info P list with our privacy string. So the way we wanna actually get the location uh, coordinates out, let's go ahead and actually do that. What we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, we wanna create a core location manager, which is uh, you know similar to what we used to do traditionally. So this is a CL location, what am I looking for, manager. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we actually need to import core location, which I forgot to do. So make sure you import both core location and core location UI, since one of them is actually location related and the other is um, just the button, just the UI related to core location. The first thing we're gonna do here is uh, assign the delegate as well as conform to that manager's delegate to get the location out. And on this button, I'm gonna go ahead and say add a target. This is gonna be self and this is going to be did tap button. And we're gonna go ahead and say the event we care about is touch up inside. And what do we actually wanna do once this function is called? We're gonna tell our manager to start updating locations. So we're gonna say manager, whoops, that's not how you spell manager. Uh, start updating, uh, there's heading and location. We wanna do location. And then there is a location manager delegate function. We're gonna go ahead and implement. It'll be location manager. And it's, uh, I think, updated locations or something like that. So let's take a look at our autocomplete here. Which one am I looking for? I think we're looking for this one. And then what we can go ahead and do is we can simply get the first location out from here. So we're gonna say this is going to be locations.first. And once we have gotten the location, we wanna be good citizens and uh, stop updating the location since that's gonna destroy your user's uh, battery life and things like that, which is not good. Leads to unhappy user reviews in the App Store. But let's go ahead and simply print out that location to see what we get. So pro tip, in the simulator, you're gonna need to simulate the location. So in uh, the toolbar, go to features, location, and you can check one of these here. There's uh, none, you can supply custom coordinates, but I just picked Cupertino, Apple. Go ahead and tap on this and let's see what we get. So there is our location. So we've actually gotten our location. So the first time you would have seen the privacy permission, but since uh, you know we already granted it that single time, every time the user taps it, we basically get their location out, a single location. Now, how do we actually translate this to something in the UI? Well, we're gonna plot it on a map view. Uh, so let's go ahead and just tidy this up and then we'll wrap up the video here. So we're gonna move the button down. So we've currently said that this is view.center. So let's go ahead and actually tweak this. This is going to be view.center.x and this is going to be the height of the current view. So view.frame size.height minus perhaps 70. And let's go ahead and bring in a map. And to bring in maps, we wanna go ahead and import map kits. We're gonna to want to create a map view, which is gonna be a MK map view, just like that. We're also going to want to add this map view and assign this guy a frame. And I'm not gonna worry about the aesthetics here too, too much, but let's try to make an effort to somewhat look good. We'll say 50, width will be the entire width, subtracting 40, and the height will maybe go ahead and say, take the entire height and subtract, uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and subtract maybe 100, and let's see what that looks like. So basically, when we go ahead and uh, get the user's location, we wanna go ahead and draw a pin on the uh, actual map. So map is looking pretty good, it's in the new style for iOS. It's actually underneath the button, so let me decrement the height here a little bit more. Maybe we'll say minus uh, 220. And now that we've got the location here, what I can go ahead and do is uh, set the location on the map. So I'm going to say map view, set a region. This region is a MK coordinate region. And we're going to go ahead and create this with a center and a, uh, let's see, a center and a span. 
So a center is simply going to be location.coordinates. Whoops, that's not what we want. We want location, singular, dot coordinates. And the span is a MK map span, coordinate span rather. And this is going to have a delta. So I'm just going to say one, rather 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. And this whole thing is going to happen with an animation because we like to make things look nice. So we'll go ahead and give this a run. And we should expect to see the map zoom into Cupertino as soon as I click on this. So we're going to click on that. And I don't know if the animation actually showed there because it was a little quick. So let's try that one more time. Seems like my beta simulator is a little laggy too, which kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and uh, click on this. Let's see what all these logs are. Compiler error invalid library sounds like a beta bug. We're gonna ignore those We're gonna click on this and we should see it zoom in which it in fact did so yeah That's the new core location UI Framework that has the CL location button of course This is available in UI kit as well as Swift UI if that uh, is something that you work with more so That's all I've got for you guys today lots of more WWDC videos to come if you haven't destroyed the like button already make sure to do so it helps out a lot Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps us grow continuously together and helps me make more videos that you guys all want to see. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.